In tonight's episode, we finally get the breakthrough we are looking for in terms of identifying the second person in Miss May's hotel room that night. But of course, identifying the person isn't just enough. We need to make them crack. And to make them crack, we need Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Well, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We are back, and it is time for a spot of Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright, and uh, we're going to get right on back into our investigation. So uh, let us continue, and we'll resume from where we were. Now, we had um, been given some time to kind of do some more investigating um, as um, uh, the whole trial has basically kind of fallen apart, what with... Uh, um, Miss Faye turning out to be kind of bugging us left, right, and present. Now, uh, we were going to go and investigate some of the other locations. So let's see what we can find. <gasps> the painting's gone! Someone's stolen the painting, the one which I was allergic to! <laughs> Hurrah! I can breathe once more! Stardate, September the 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. I wonder if he's just moved away. Right, anyway. Ha! Huh. Looks like Grossberg is out today! Again! Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Maybe he's intimidated by my amazing good looks and hair and lawyer skills. Let's have a look around. Well, the painting's gone. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it, it was a painting of, of my mother. Oh, it was a painting of some fisherman. Wasn't it? Well, it wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. Probably. I think. Did I get that one right? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Cryptic stuff. Let's take a look at these. Uh, okay, let's have a look at A then. What you got for me? Oh, it's a lady. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. I'm not sure I have. Hmm. Unless it's like going to be like a relative of Maya or Mia, like because they do look quite similar. But then again, all the characters look kind of similar here. Maybe a mum, perhaps. It certainly looks like a kind of dated photo, perhaps. Perhaps I'll borrow and this photo and steal it, just like I've stolen stuff from that lady's room. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo, and the other one. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll just take it for now. Photograph quietly added to the court record. <laughs> but a photograph stolen from a witness. Well, they were, hang on, there were, were two things here. Wow. Hey, that guy's got purple hair. And I think the, the killer right at the beginning of the thing had kind of purple hair, but looked kind of older than that. But then again, this is an old photo. Mm -hmm. Who knows? A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Well, why can I not just take both? If I swap photos, then I've got a photograph of a man, and then I can show that photograph of the man to that bellboy guy, because he said if I saw a photo of the guy, then I would recognise him. So let's swap those bad boys over. I think I'll swap them. Photograph added to the court record on the words the back DL6 incident exhibit B are written in pencil. Alright, is there anything else around here? Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves fills filled with rubbish. Ah, funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. Blah 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 blah. Is there anything new over here, hip floss? A table. A fridge. An elegant ebony case. And that light is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn, but no, I'm not going to take that. I'm just going to take some crappy photograph when actually I should probably be taking... No clues here! The gold bar! Right, okay, well that's given me something, so let's move again. Let's head back to the hotel and show that little photograph uh, to him. Go, have a look at this then. Take a look at this photo. You're in stunned silence, I can tell! Oh, that's him, sir. Yes, detective. Yes, yes. Uh, um, well, um, I'm not actually a detective. I'm I'm a lawyer, but you can call me detective any time. But that would have to be role play, not work time. 
Oh, uh, I know letter. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, detective once. You, you know how it is. No, no, I don't. You're quite clearly crazy and making money out of a murder, which makes you a bad person. Without a doubt, uh, yes, that is the, uh, that's the man who checked in with uh, Miss April Mesa, yes. Uh, how about I write a, a, a affidavit? A, a, a what? Aff affidavit. Affidavit? 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 I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's some sort of like witness statement. So let's just say it's K, let's say it's pronounces and he's he's gonna be very English, so it's gonna be like Arfi Darvid. Okay. How about I write a uh Arfi Darvid, uh, swearing that that's that's him, so I guess. Ah <laughs> I'm glad Phoenix didn't know it either. And Arfi Darvid! This guy is way too excited about this. Sure, you write it, why not? It's, it's evidence, why not? Well sure, why not? Write me something. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I'll be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. I think you've got many nicknames already. Just hurry up and write it. The bellboy's affidavit, I can leave the voice now, describes the man who stayed with Miss May on the hotel on the night of the murder. Not even Miss May can pay dumb to this. Can I ask you anything more about the man? No, I can't. That's all ticked off. So let's go on the move back to the detention center. You again? Can't you take a little hit and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. So if you speak to me and maybe put on some more clothes, this conversation would go a heck of a lot better. Oh, so it's my fault now that I'm in jail, that I'm in trouble. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. No one messes with the hair. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head and possibly becoming a monk, maybe going on a mountain. I'll become psychic. No drawbacks there. I'm going to present you with an RV Darvid. Not that one, though. That's the wrong piece of paper. It's that one! Could you have a look at this? Oh, what's that, sugar? The bellboy's Arfi Darvid. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. Ah. Now I'm getting somewhere. Look, she's mad. That always ends well. I'm going to... Hmm, ease her fears or push her hard. Well, we've been trying the pushing hard technique for the last, like, hour of gameplay, and she doesn't go anywhere. So how about we kind of pretend we're on her side and kind of go, you know, hey, darling, don't worry. Hmm, Phoenix is here. I'm going to make it all right, girl. You just got to give me some sugar, you know, and something like that. So let's try it. I'm going to ease her fears. Okay, okay. She's vulnerable now. She's delicate. I should be gentle. Miss May. It would be easy for me to hand this Alfie Darvit to the police. <laughs> if they get involved, wouldn't your boss be even more, uh, well, um, inconvenienced? All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Uh, oh, is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Well, that didn't work. God, this woman's impossible. Somehow I think you're not up to it, hmm? Show them a little kindness and they jump all over you. Bloody women, I have no success for them. I'm going back to sheep. Well, that had the opposite effect to what I hoped. Oh, poor little lawyer. And you were so close. This isn't working. I think I've worn out this piece of paper's usefulness. Damn it! Discarded the bellboy's Alfie Darvid. Man! The man in the photo is the one I want. Why did April May not want to talk about it? She must know him. Well, how was I supposed to know whether to push her hard or ease her gently? Damn it! Is there anything left that we can talk about here? Let's talk about that man. Come on! About the man who stayed with you in her hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? 
No, she was cool. She was hot. She didn't like clothes. See? Damn, well that tells me something about their relationship at least. They must care for each other deeply. But through their combination of liking pinky purple hair. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Which I don't have anymore because I discarded it like a pleb. Well, we haven't been to the Fay and Co. Law offices for a while. But I don't think there's going to be anything new here. September the 7th, Fay and Co. Law offices. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a good working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't take a hurt to take a little look around, though. Okay, we're going to examine this bad boy. Let's look at the window. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Popland. Beer's favourite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. It's my only way of remembering her. By giving a little drizzle. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. It was Anchorman. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Let's have a listen to the phone. Mia's desk. It's very desky. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is... Mia! <laughs> oh, Mia, why? Desk lamp. No clues here. How about that? You couldn't cram more legal books in there, even if you wanted to. All of the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Well, that means some of the files are missing, damn it. What about this one here? Mia's desk. I've said this already. The only thing it's missing is oh, I'm going to cry again. Mia, why? Right, can I... Look, it's the ceiling. Um, no, okay, right, back. No clues here. Back. Um, well, where to now? Maybe that guy's turned up back in the offices. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? <coughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat and slight Miss Piggy-like voice. <coughs> ah you again? Um, hello, no, sorry, not Miss Piggy. Perhaps more like Yoda. Oh, no, Mr. Grossberg, you too. <coughs> well, well. You were quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me, you've just referred to me as a noun. I, if you're going to refer to me as any kind of noun, it needs to be a proper one, a definite one, a definite article. Hmm? The trial! The trial! He was there. He must have been disguised as the hammer. Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. My hair used to be spiky, too. I guess something got passed down through Mia. Maybe. Probably a disease. It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. His youth smelt like lemon. <laughs> Why would youth smell like lemon? What a bizarre thing to say. You know, you kind of say, oh, the days when I was younger and I used to be able to, you know, play sport or I used to kind of go out, you know, clubbing and things. You don't kind of say, oh, when I was younger and I had lemons. That's just weird. That's, you're a weird man. <laughs> I apologize for being strange, but you know, citrus, it's, uh, it's amazing. I don't know what's going on. I've lost the thread of this whole conversation. It, I, mm, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I, well, I... Uh, I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you'd gave me some information, or some help, or better yet, some personal space. Well, let's talk to him some more. What did you think about today's trial, brother? So, you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. I was disguised as a nearby policeman. You know, the one that doesn't move. That's because I am inside him. 
Something was bothering me all last week, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. So I woke up, I ate two cows, I had a large milkshake and some bacon. And then I was fine. Really? After you ate all that, what did you do? Well, you see, it's just me and sister, uh, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, then perhaps you should have defended her. Who would want me to defend her? I'm useless. Clearly everyone can see this. I don't know what I'm doing. That was a really uninformative piece of dialogue. Well, I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defence? I think I have a right to know, and damn it, the people watching have a right to know, and damn it, the Adipose has a right to know too. Ah, oh, right, uh, Mr. Wright and uh, Mr. Pose. Well, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just them. Um, I need more time to think about it, my boy. I think very slowly. You see, most of my brain nerves and my electrons are clogged up with bacon fat, you see. So every thought takes a little while to get from one side of my brain to the other. He does seem troubled about the bacon fat in his brain. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. How about that painting? That'll make him talk. The other day, I'm sure there was a big pretentious looking painting on that wall. I know, because I was allergic to it. It made me sneeze and hurl. And now look, I'm growing hair upon my little finger. Pretentious looking? No. Well, well, you know, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Where did it stop? What's the sign on the lollipop? Ah, oh, well, yes, well, um, I, uh, <clears throat> got rid of it. I got quite tired of the thing, really. I, <clears throat> sold it, you see. Yes, that's right, I, I sold it. Sold it? I'm not sure I'd buy that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little phoenix joke. <laughs> uh, well, wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it is any of your business. Now please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't, I... Well, that was deep. Let's show him the photo of the bad, bad man. Here you go. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. I'm thinking of doing my hair in purple with a small curl on the left. Do you think it would suit me? Ah. Where did you get that? I borrowed it from a very close... Ah, oh, crap, I stole it from you, didn't I? Ah, I found it in a gutter. No, wait, I bought it for a painting seller. Eh? Eh? See what I did there? Well... Give it back at once. Mr. Grossberg, tell me about the man in this photo. He may have been in that hotel room with April May on the night of the murder. Do you know something about him? Anything about him? <coughs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Oh my god! Could it be that we are about to get some answers? I don't believe it. I do not believe it. However, oh god, he's not going to give me some answers. He's going to say, oh, I'll go and speak to this person here and give them this bit of evidence or something. Or he's going to get shot just as he opens his mouth. You know, oh, the guy in the photo is bang, crash. However, you didn't hear it from me, if you'll follow. Oh, maybe not then. Maybe we'll still get information. I follow, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and if anyone asks me, I'll lie, lie like a dog. That man is Mr. Red White. He's the president of Blue Corp. Well, there's the whole red, white, and blue thing. Red White, hmm, interesting name. Blue Corp, they're something like a detective agency, right? They're, um, information pros. They, they sell information, you see. <clears throat> Sensitive information about people with checkered histories. Despite his name, Mr. White has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. 
Should you run across him, you watch what you say. You wouldn't want him digging up any dirt on you. Dirt? No, no. Uh, there's no dirt on me. I've never done anything. I'm embarrassed of. At least nothing that I can remember. At least nothing in this country. At least nothing this week. Hmm. But selling information, that sounds like blackmail. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm. I, I suppose. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. Even if April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Time to take some action. Okay, I've returned the photograph to Mr. Grossberg. That was jolly nice of me, bearing in mind he was clearly harboring information about the killer. And now I must ask you to leave. It's time for me to soak myself in more bacon fat and roll around in lard. I need to think about things slowly and alone. And if you notice, my hair is starting to lose its curl behind my head. And if I don't have wings, what can I do? Right, well, I assume that means now I have another location I can go to. Yes, I can. Blue Corp. Over we go. That's the painting. It's the painting. Ah. September the 7th, Blue Corp Inc. CEO's office. There's no one here except a naked blue man with a globe. It's kind of weird. What's with the surreal decor? No one would decorate their paint their place like this. Or what accent? Do we, assuming this is the same guy, did we? What accent did I give him? Wasn't he Scottish or something? I think he might have been Scottish. If he wasn't Scottish, I'm sorry, but we're going to make him Scottish from now on. <laughs> oh, welcome. Uh, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? That's crazy. Someone came from behind me. Whoa! Your name. What is your name? I was just inquiring asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. My name is Phoenix Wright. Inquirably. That's an awesome word. I could learn a lot from this guy, especially about how many rings to wear on each hand. And how to make my smile go ka -ching. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright, is it? Well, right, I see. Ha! See what I did there. Splendid for us. Perhaps I have uh, intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? Stop using big words. New rule. This conversation has no words with more than two syllables. You can only use a three-syllable word if you apologize first. Okay? Okay, let's carry on. I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate, sorry, expansion. Oh, sorry again. Official, once again. I'm so, so sorry. My business dealings bring me into the contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid that I'm not just conversing with the, ha, sorry man, the, the wordily challenged. What a fruitcake! This guy is crazy with his big pink suit and sporty tie. Clearly they don't go together. Well, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come up to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? How dare he accuse me of being a noob and... And more importantly, how does everyone know that I'm a complete noob? No matter, laddie. So, what business does a, a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes! This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. I wonder if he can go into space at will. And I'm yet to see his finger point, but I bet it's a good one. Let's examine the room first because that might give us more things to kind of talk to him about obviously we've got the painting over here but let's uh oh let's have a look at some other stuff first uh let's look at this amazing statue a statue of a man holding up his world with his dingling out the blue corp sign certainly stands out enough as long as his dingling does too the model for the man is of course mr white ah truly a work of art but probably too beautious for you to appreciate, correct? 
I think it's a little bit too butacious for just about anyone to appreciate. I've got some awards up here. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special runner-up, best participation, best hair, bronze swimming certificate, judges cooperation award, special good tri prize, and second cake makers competition 1994. Hmm, the words judges and special and cake kind of stand out. Oh my god, I've just realised his table has naked men, probably. Um... And we must remember those, those biceps. Naked guys are the decoration of the table. I'm guessing that this is supposed to be a desk as well as uh, some sort of aphrodisiac. My, my. This is quite the, uh, uh, thing. Oh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's modelled on my body, you see. Well, does it sneak round at you or not, uh, ha, inspire you, if not at you just a, a little bit there. Hmm. What's on the desk? I'm guessing. Oh no, 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 no! I don't want to have the same dialogue. Yes, yes. That's <gasps> muddled on my body. You see? Did we not just have this conversation? You're fucking incompetent. You know that, don't you? Right. Let's look out the window. This is the top floor of a twenty-story building. I'd better not fall out of this. The view is quite presidential. And a wee flower, which apparently is not evidence in any way, shape, or form. Neither is the chair, neither is the floor. So it's painting time. Oh my! Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Is it just bad luck, bad karma? But I can feel the hives coming out already. And look, my left hand, it's all hairy. Ah, ridiculousity. I've gone Irish. Ah, the wrong United Kingdom dialect. Ah, it's hard to get myself back into the Scottish zone here. Ridiculosity. I have no interest in selling anything but originals. No, I've gone, I've gone Irish all over the place. This is clearly the wrong accent. I've moved to the wrong part of Great Great Britannia there. Right, Scotland. I have no interest in anything but the originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million, for sure. Hmm. Well, our time is up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you have enjoyed today's investigations, then please do give the video a like. And if you want to make sure you are here for the uh, the questioning, the intense questioning of Mr. Red White, then please do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and I now have a blog as well, which is soon going to have some really good kind of playlists there to help you find videos quickly and easily. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.